Hi, I'm Jonathan M0JSX, and this is uh, the news that I don't think any of us really expected, uh, but alas, here we are. I'm going to read the statement that uh, Martin Jew uh, sent out from MFJ, and then we'll see what that actually means. He says, Dear fellow hams and friends, it is with a sad heart I write this letter. As many of you have heard by now, MFJ is ceasing its on-site production in Starkville, Mississippi on May the 17th, 2024. This is also the same for our sister companies, Ameritron, Highgain, Cushcraft, Mirage and Vectronics. Times have changed since I started this business 52 years ago. Our product line grew and grew and prospered. Covid changed everything in businesses, including ours. It was the hardest hit that we have ever had and we never fully recovered. I turned 80 this year. I had never really considered retirement, but life is so short and my time with my family is so precious. I want to thank all of our employees who have helped build this company with me over the years. We have many employees who have made MFJ their career for 10, 20, 30, 40 and more years. We are going to continue to sell MFJ products past May the 17th, 2024. We have a lot of stock on hand. We will continue to offer repair service work for out of warranty and in warranty units for the foreseeable future. Finally, a special thanks to all of our customers and our dealers who have made MFJ a worldwide name and a profitable business for so many years. You are all so much appreciated. Sincerely yours, 73. Martin F. Jew, K5FLU. Obviously, that news means that things like MFJ tuners, antenna analyzers, basically all the things, the products you think of when you think of MFJ uh, are not necessarily immediately and certainly not on the 17th of May, but within a few months, I would suspect, are going to become unobtainable. What I find interesting in Martin's email is that actually he says that MFJ as a business sounds like it's going to continue even if in that is a much smaller form because no, they're going to continue with repair work. I imagine that also means they're still going to be able to do parts uh, at least for the foreseeable. What I don't know and what Martin's email doesn't suggest is what about the products that MFJ doesn't make on site because there are a number of products now that MFJ are buying in from the Far East and are putting an MFJ brand on. Uh, Martin's email doesn't discuss what happens to those products. I'm thinking things like uh, the MFJ 1979, the telescopic work, for instance. MFJ don't make that themselves. That's a product that they buy in from a factory in China. So there's a little bit of confusion there, I think, uh, that no doubt we'll find uh, out more details in the coming days. I also find the date of May the 17th quite interesting. Obviously, that's a few weeks away, but actually, that's Dayton weekend. So uh, I don't know whether MFJ will have a presence at Dayton. I suspect they will, uh, but I also suspect that a lot of their stock will be going to Dayton with them. And this is probably the last time that MFJ will be at Dayton. Uh, what does it mean for international dealers? Well, obviously there's gonna be no MFJ stock, certainly not of the tuners or the antenna analyzers, the real ticket items that you know, sell in, in great numbers. Um, and I think it is just a sign of the times, to be honest with you. I think that um, Chinese companies have come up in the last sort of 10 years and really seen the amateur radio market uh, prosper in their regard. And I think that's where a lot of that sort of custom is, is swinging already, to be honest with you. When you think of uh, uh, the tuner lineups, let's say, you've obviously MFJ have always been there. Uh, you've got LDG, another American company, uh, with a, with their range of automatic tuners. And now we're seeing things like uh, Matt tuners come up uh, and have really taken the market by storm and offering something different, even if it is still quite similar. So there we are, MFJ, you will be missed. Uh, Martin FG, thank you very much for everything you've done for Amateur Radio for the last 50 plus years. Uh, I don't think there's any ham in the world that hasn't at some point in their life touched one of your products and I think that just cements how strong the MFJ brand is as well as the other companies that uh, fall under the MFJ umbrella but how strong the MFJ brand is within amateur radio.
Uh, thanks very much for watching. I'd like to know your thoughts upon the demise of MFJ's production. I say we don't know what's going to happen with the, the company overall, but certainly it's going to be much smaller going forwards. Uh, your thoughts down below in the comments section. Uh, I'll be interested to have a little bit of a chat and debate with you. Uh, if you've liked this video, there's a button specifically for that. There's another button that seems to work just fine too. If you haven't already done so, please do click on that subscribe button as it really does help me out. There's another video coming up over here that the algorithm thinks that you might like next. Until next time, 73. Bye-bye.